Hey guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly and today we're going to do some uh, seed planting. Um, I have some stuff that I got from Mary's Heirloom Seeds that I'm going to try this year. Last year I planted in uh, starter dirt, and seed starter dirt, and um, I did very well. I did fine. Um, but this year I wanted to try these. Um, these are coconut core bricks that you get from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. Um, I got some for me and we're starting a garden for my daughter and granddaughter and son-in-law as well. So uh, I got a couple extra for them too. So um, along with that, you get these non-woven starter pods, they're called. And they're just, see if I can put them down here so you can see. They're pretty cool. Um, they feel like dryer sheets. Um, but you're sh supposed to be able to reconstitute the core, the coconut core, uh, with water. Be able to pack it in these little things. Put your seeds in, two or three seeds. Um, is I think I'm going to do a couple seeds per and then probably take them out and trans, you know, put them somewhere else just to conserve uh, space. Um, but uh, you're supposed to be able to, once these are ready to go in the ground in your garden, wherever you're gonna put them, um, you can take this whole thing and put it right in the garden. Make a hole and stick it right in there and you're done. These will degrade and um, they'll just turn into compost. So you get these, you get your brick and your little tags to put in the ground so that you know what is what, where, what is what. So um, I'm going to start my peppers, my tomatoes, and I guess that's it. Peppers and tomatoes, that's all I'm gonna do. Those take the longest to germinate and get going. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I've got some uh, seeds from Baker Creek. I've got the bullnose pepper. I've got the King of the North pepper. I have got um, Cra Gra Craig's Grande Jalapeno from Baker Creek. I have got pink brandywine tomato from Mary's Heirloom Seeds. I got a bunch of seeds from uh, Baker Creek and from Mary's Heirloom Seeds, um, but I'm not going to start them all just yet. I have a bunch of herbs that I want to start as well. Uh, this one's just from the store, probably probably tractor supply. This is just a Roma tomato. Uh, I decided last year that the cherry tomatoes that I made my spaghetti sauce out of, I thought was way too sweet and I did not like it, the taste of it. Or, I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't what I wanted. Um, so I, somebody said, or a lot bunch of people have said, use the Roma. So I'm gonna do some of these Romas so I can get some spaghetti sauce. And then last year, this is what I made my spaghetti sauce with, is the Gardener's Delight cherry tomatoes. Um, I'm going to plant these again because they were just so good just to snack on. And I just love that my granddaughter would just go in the garden and grab them. And we got so many. Um, I made marinara, and that was really good with it. Uh, I still have some frozen I mean, why not? I've got seeds left, why not do some of these? And probably, I mean, I did a bunch last year. I mean, I had a whole bed full. So probably this year, I have plenty of seeds that I can just do a few plants and then send some over to my daughter too. So she can put them in her garden if she wants to. She's not a big tomato fan, but my granddaughter is, so. Um, so that's it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna show you how to reconstitute this coconut um, and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm doing this in a clear bin so that you guys can see what it looks like. And take two liters of water and I'm gonna pour it in probably about half and we're just gonna let it sit in that water and you just watch how it starts to rise. It's 
going to start soaking up that water. Look at that go. Now this is my first year using this, um, this particular branch. Uh, Mary's Heirloom Seeds used to uh, carry the pods that already had the, the, um, the woven starter pods filled with the coconut core. Um, and she used to have them all together, you know, already packed. And um, probably about eight, nine months ago, maybe, she started the, you know, selling the bricks and everything separate so that you could do it on your own. So look at that thing go. That is just going crazy. All right, so we're gonna start with the bullnose peppers. We love peppers around here. Peppers, onions, garlic, any of that. So I'm just gonna pour a few in here. Um, I don't know how many I wanna do. How many's in there? Maybe I'll do five. There's, maybe I'll do six. <laughs> I don't know how many I want to do, guys. I know I'm going to do way too many. It's just like cooking. I can't cook for two people. Um, I have my, let's see if I can make some room here for myself. I have my pan. I'm going to put my done ones in here. I think, I don't know, never done this before, but doesn't it look like uh, chocolate cake? Look at that. Put some frosting on that puppy. That would be so good. Just kidding. God, you guys believe everything I say. <laughs> All right, so there is still quite a bit of water in the bottom. And um, I think that's good because that means that it's good and wet. So Mary said, and it's dripping. So Mary says that you wanna make sure it's packed, that you don't want a lot of air pockets. You wanna make sure it's packed fairly tightly. Look at it drip, look at that. That's great. Those are awesome. Look how good those are. Okay. basically and it looks like you can make it so it sits flat there we go Put a little bit more in there I've got plenty of these and then if I run out of these I can always go to um, starter dirt it's not a big deal but look at that it's still got a lot of water in it honestly it really hasn't been 15 minutes it's been more like 10 but I can't wait have no patience. All right, so I'm gonna put two in here because when I get ready, I can um, I can pull one out and put it in something else. But this is just to get it started. There, there's the first one right there. And it's flat on the bottom. See if it sits nicely. Yeah, I'm gonna put the bullnose pepper thing here. I'm gonna stick it right down the side. And I'm gonna try to do like this so that I don't, hopefully I don't get more screwed up. can see that all right that's my tray of peppers and tomatoes I'm gonna get those started first because they take a little bit longer to get going 
And then I'm just putting water in the bottom of the pan and it can soak up what it wants for water. And then I'll get a spray bottle of water. I don't have it out just yet, but I'll get a spray bottle and I'll just spray the tops and get them wet if they need to be. And that's how I'll do it for a little while. These are all my seeds that I have um, and see what I need to start next or what I want to start next. I'm not really sure. A lot of these are um, uh, flowers, herbs. Um, I forgot that I had this one. This I got as a free seed pack, the lemon basil. That sounds awesome. I want to get some of that going. Um, but I've got cucumbers and corn and beans and then I've got some of this stuff I did last year. There's some peppers from last year. Um, cucumbers, carrots, and some corn. Some more corn, which I think is the same sweet corn. But um, I've got marigolds and zinnias that I want to start because I got uh, this whole tray here and then I've got this one that I'll use and then these are the tops to those which I may use right now just to form like a, a greenhouse type of deal on top. But um, like this. And that way that'll get that nice and warm in there. Um, warm those seeds up and the dirt up and they can grow, grow, grow. So thanks for hanging out with me while I plant some of my seeds, guys. And we'll check back every so often and see when we get some sprouts. I'm very excited. I'll come back this afternoon and uh, check and see if the sprouts are ready. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Check every day. And I talk to them. Where are you? Come on out. It's wonderful. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.